Good morning, guys. So I'm out here on this frigid January 11th. There's It's a high of, I think, 41 today or 44 today. Right now it's 33. I went and got the jackhammer from Rental. I'm going to try to jackhammer some more of this, this trench out, a little bit of the wall. Um, we're meeting with the client to go over a possible patio we're adding to this project. Um, we were supposed to get the excavator this weekend, but there's a major snowstorm possibly. They're now saying three inches so far, anywhere from two to six inches, maybe even more than that. We're going to have to see how this storm goes. And then I just seen that we got some bad news over here. We're supposed to dig out this stump, but 811 came and marked it. And there are wires everywhere. So I might have to rethink that. But um, let's go ahead and get out and get this jackhammer set up. I've never used a jackhammer, so this is new to me. So we're, you guys are going to see me use it as I learn. So like I said, guys, don't ever be afraid to learn to try new things or use new things. There's always YouTube, I'm sure. There's a video on there on how to do it. Um, but okay, let's get out and get this done. And the boss will not be with me today. Sorry to disappoint you guys. Um, she's homeschooling. It's kind of cold out here and only I can deal with the jackhammer and moving dirt. So, and then there's some stuff she could clear on the top, but it's all poison ivy. So you'll see her. She said she'll start digging out the patio if we get it. So let's go ahead and get this going. Okay, guys, as you can see, everything out here is frozen. I'm going to try to jackhammer this stuff up. To get to a certain depth below this line here so I can start putting my gravel in but I'm going to trench out the whole thing all the way down and then we'll just backfill with gravel and then I'm going to try to chip away at some of this wall hopefully hopefully I can get it but more importantly is this trench here because the back of my wall is going to go right on this line and then just need to get a little bit out of there to be able to put rock and stuff in so, and I might have to rent this um, jackhammer again when I go to do the Deadmans in here. So, let's go ahead and get going.
Okay guys, I got half of it almost dug out. I gotta chip away more in the back, more behind this where the poles are, reset my poles. I'm gonna work on all the way over here now, getting this out and going down a little deeper here. That way everything's dug out, makes it easier. I can start my whole bottom row of boards. And we're definitely gonna mitch, put new boards, but I think I'm gonna start with the old ones and then we'll just probably have to pressure treat this. I mean, not pre um, pressure wash it. So I just talked to the homeowner. We're gonna build a patio about right out to here. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna come along here. And he asked if we can build the patio to go around the side here, all the way down up against the wall. And then we'll finish it out over here. Okay guys, I made a pretty big dent in this. I gotta dig all this out still. I need to be down 18 inches, not 18, 14 inches. I gotta put a new line up. I think I'm done for today. It's almost three and Paige needs me to take something to the post office. So that's hard work, but I should have gotten that when I was out here. You guys seen in the video before pickaxing it. It's definitely a lot easier doing it this way a lot faster i have this thing until tomorrow at 11 but i'm probably just going to take it back right before they close and do a day and a half rental so i can really get all this dug out and get ready to put my line and put my gravel back in then if we need it again to do the dead men we'll go ahead and rent it again to do the dead men so i'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and then i gotta get out of here 